While we're on the topic of gambling, we've had a couple of viewers hit us up to ask about betting basketball. They're not familiar with it. They want to bet basketball. Um, is there a difference between betting basketball and football? And also, can you explain what it's like to bet hockey and baseball as well? Because two seasons are coming. Well, baseball's coming up and hockey, we're, we're in it. So Right. Yeah, well, basketball, it's uh, very similar to betting football. It's basically the same. You have your point spread. Uh, just like in football, a team is favored by three points. In basketball, a team is favored by three points. It's the same thing. You have to bet typically $11 to win $10 on the point spread. When you're talking about totals in football, you might have a total that's 44 and a half on a game. You're going to bet that total over or under. Same thing in basketball. You're going to have a total that's going to be... 235 this year. <laughs> right, yeah, 235 this yeah, there's, year. Yeah, we were talking about that, too. There's no defense <laughs> Oh yeah, these, anymore. Everybody it's like threes. every game's an NBA All-Star game. Right, every game is let's light it up from three. So <laughs> in basketball, it's the same as football. You're just going to bet the total over or under, and then you have your money line, which is the same in, as you bet in football. But so, what difference? so the good news is, is you're built for basketball. Fire away. Uh, yeah, I just got to study it more. Yeah. I, I've really lost it. I know this is – you like basketball, right? I like That's basketball, just yeah. I don't know how to gamble it at all, though. So this is... You don't know how to drink or gamble. You've come to the right place, kid. Yeah, We're going to make yeah. you a degenerate by the, so end, sorry, by the end of the day. Um, it's harder for me now to follow basketball because of all the players leaving and, you know, you don't really have those teams anymore. I'm less interested as a Gen Xer, wire, whatever I am. But you guys love the, the branding of the players. Yeah, definitely. I, I, I'm, I'm from Ohio. Cleveland was my team. LeBron was my team. Follow him to L.A. No reason to go back to Ohio ever. Like, that's my So guy. now that's, L.A. is your team because of LeBron. Yes, and if he goes to Minnesota, I'll be a Minnesota fan. Isn't that so different that's from how crazy. we came up? Like, yeah. we would right. look at that as a traitor. Right. right. How could right. you leave? Mm. Right. You know? And you follow your team regardless of who's on the team. You don't follow the player. You follow your team. So these young kids today, it's just like, yeah, I'm going to follow this yeah, guy. These kids their today. Goal, their yeah. goal the is disrespect. The, so, their so, their so, goal is the player with the most Instagram followers. Right. Oh, so, my. So, <laughs> so Zeke. Zeke got traded to uh, Seattle Seahawks. You guys suddenly Seattle Seahawks fans. Right? Absolutely no. I would be. Right? I would be. I'm a, I'm a Ohio Zeke State fan. Guy. Ohio State. Absolutely. Yeah, right. So wait, what was the difference between ba – there is no difference between basketball and football. Nope. Teasers just, are a little bit different. Yeah. Teasers but, in football, it's six, six and a half. Right. And seven. And in basketball, you tease it a little bit less, four, four and a half and five. I can see that. But pay chart's the same. Everything's the same. I mean, it's, it's, it's a point – it's an American – Sport that is based on a, f a point spread, which is NCAA is the same. NCAA, NCAA, NCAA is the same. The numbers are going to be a little bit different, right? I mean, the way we 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 put the opening numbers up, the way we manage it a little bit is different. You know, in the uh, NBA, we manage totals a little bit different because totals are, uh, especially this year, a little bit more volatile. They'll run quite a bit, and then they tend to come back. So in the morning, we'll put up a total two twelve and a half, and then uh, the sharps will come in at say you know one thirty. They'll run the total up to 216 and a half, and then half hour before game time during the shoot around, you know, so and so is not going to start, then the total comes back down. So, what we've done in the past is we've, we've moved the VIG a little bit more on the total. So, if they start betting it over, mm -hmm. we'll go minus $1.20 instead of necessarily moving the number right away, and then we'll move off of the, 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 the $1.20 on, on that. But in college hoops, you tend to just get them to run one way. I so, guess. if a total's 144, you know, a lot shorter prices, a total will run to maybe 151, but it's not going to come back right before. It's, it's, it's an opinion strong that way, whereas NBA, the information is so fluid of who's in, who's out, what's going to you know, happen. You know, what happened the night before if the team got blown out by 25 points and it's a back-to-back -back night game for the NBA, which you don't get in college, those sort of things factor in into handicap. I have a question about, oh, go ahead, were you going to say something? No, 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 go ahead. Uh, March Madness is coming up. Now, it just boggles my mind how many teams are in the tournament and how you guys, I mean, do you have, do you assign like one person for team? <laughs> There's teams like, you know, you've Fair never field. heard of that, that you pick the lines on and you guys are pretty much accurate for all 80,000 games that are being played. I mean. Yeah, but they, you know, they, they play a 40 minute game, right? I mean, and you just take the statistical information. The sample size is going to be, you know, 32, 33, 35 games that they're going to have up to that point until selection Sunday. So you just. It's just it's it's literally a, a power rating math sort of thing. You just so it's a formula it, that you pl plug, plug in, in the play. numbers. Yep. Okay. Much. Now let's just say and but I mean like so let's say Grand Canyon gets in right and for some reason Grand Canyon University has a a really 
strong following here, and I know I'm going to get some bets from them because the kids are all going to drive up from uh, Flagstaff and bet Grand right. Canyon. Maybe I shade Grand Canyon. I, that would never happen in the real world. So uh, what about hockey? Is that any different, or is it simple? Yeah, so hockey, I mean, same concept, right? But hockey is uh, the primary market is based on money line, right? You're just going to bet who's going to win the game. So it's, it's similar to baseball where you're betting the primary market is the money line. So you see minus $1.40 on uh, the Mets versus uh, Tampa Bay, or you see minus $1.40 on the Lightning versus the, the, the Knights. Right. That means you're going to lay $140 to win 100 right. on that team to win. If you take the other team, you're taking the, the, the one plus 120, so you're just betting 100 to win, 100. win 120. You're going to collect it back. But is there a, All they got to do is win. Like so boxing. You're, so, like yeah. boxing. So there is, right. no, there is no base spread. Well, there is if you want it to, to, to bet into that. Okay. That's, that's called uh, the run line and the puck line. Correct. And then I'll let you explain that. So, so basically in football and basketball, you have a point spread. But what's different in, uh, excuse me, basketball and football you have a point spread so what's different in hockey and baseball you have a static uh, puck line and you have a static uh, run line one and a half one and a half on the minus one and a half on the favorite and plus one and a half on the underdog so like I said in football you have the point spread that differs for every game so it's, this stays consistent one so, and a half right, for, exactly. for hockey and, the, and baseball and the reason that's offered is in these some of these money line sports like if Kershaw's going against a guy that they just pulled up from the AAA he's going to be 350 or a 360 favorite against him and you're like all right they're going to win yes but I think they're going to win by like five runs which never happens because Kershaw doesn't get run support but <laughs> that's a different story so you then say I don't want to lay 360 I'll give up one and a half runs, so they got to win by two now, and now I'm only going to have to lay a dollar fifty. I got say. you. I got you. So if you take the points, you're laying less. Right. Other and then than if, that, you, if you have taking... two evenly matched teams, right? One's maybe a dollar forty favorite. Now, if you say I want to lay a run and a half there, now you're going to get money. So instead of laying one forty, you're probably going to pull back about uh, plus a dollar sixty. Now let's say this. Let's say uh, I want to take a team. I want to bet the money line on the underdog. And I give points to the other team, saying we're just gonna we'll beat them by that. How much money does that move up? Does that make yeah, sense? Yeah, that moves into what's called a reverse run line or a reverse puck line, which then really jumps up. Yeah, some of the, if you're taking a dog and you're laying points, now you're really jumping up your, oh. your price of return. Oh. <laughs> that is that shit. Does that's, that make sense? No, dude, absolutely not. I'm wondering how I can bet on the Bachelor, the, and that's all I need to know. Like, how do I shade Cassie? I'm not <laughs> Hannah time. B is gonna win the Bachelor. You think Come Hannah on. B is gonna Come win? Come on! The, oh my oh, God! He said he, he wants five? to shade Cassie. He said. Kyler Murray, go on the Bachelor. Hey, is there odds on the Bachelor or no? Uh, not in the state of Nevada. I mean, we take things that you can actually. Uh, bet on on a field to play, even though that's kind of a field to play. You but could absolutely yeah. bet but, on But it's already determined. It's though, determined. Right? Yeah, a lot of, like, yeah, yeah, you can't do stuff like that. You're telling me the NBA is not determined. Absolutely not. You blinked well, not so that hard. You know. <laughs> not that you know. You're not on the end. <laughs>